okay, take one, crash course in tripod use and other stuff. Hi guys, I'm Kelsey and you're watching Books to Mark. It's Wednesday, which means I do a blog post, except today we're going to try something different than what I usually do. do the ultimate book tag, which I found. So, let's check it out. Do you get sick in the car while reading? Um, not on the highway. If I'm reading while I'm on the highway, then I could read probably forever. Which author's writing style is completely unique to you and why? Um, Toni Morrison is sticking out in my mind right now. I finished Beloved a couple of weeks ago, and her characterization and the subject matter, everything just is going to stick with me forever. I can tell that for sure. Uh, Harry Potter series or Twilight give three points to defend your answer. What? Okay. Well, sure. Harry Potter series. That's first things first. Uh, first because J.K. Rowling, just because her, she's amazing. Um, it just blows my mind that she had everything so intricately planned out from day one because Harry kills the first Horcrux in the second book, Chamber of Secrets, but we don't even find out about the Horcruxes until the sixth one, Half-Blood Prince. So I, it's just amazing that she had that all planned out. Second, because Harry, Ron, and Hermione are not a love triangle. They work together and they help each other and they're a team. And in Twilight there's Jacob, Edward, and Bella, but it's a true love triangle and it's not, it just doesn't seem as original to me, I guess. The romantic triangles have their place, but I think that the, tri that the relationship that Harry, Ron, and Hermione have is more interesting. And my third reason is Hagrid, because Hagrid is just a very lovable character, so I'm going to stick with him. Okay, do you carry a book bag? If so, what is in it? I'll carry a book bag for school, so that has all my school books in it. My, this bag actually is right here. This bag is a bag I carry usually when I go out to, I write my blog post at a cafe, so... I usually bring that bag and I have my notebook and my laptop and some pens. That's pretty much it. If I do anything else, I usually have my camera. Uh, do you smell your books? I don't sniff my books consciously, but I, I like the smell of books. I do. Books with or without little illustrations. I think it depends on if the illustrations fit the medium, so if they're adding to the story. J.K. Rowling has little illustrations at the beginning of each chapter. It's a children's novel, so that makes sense. Um, I just went to a book talk about a book called Bad For You, which is a new graphic novel that's coming out, and that medium fit what they were trying to do, so it worked. It all depends on, I think, what you're trying to say and if it fits with it. I, I think pointless illustrations don't work. What book did you love while reading but discovered later it wasn't quality writing? Twilight. All four of them. Uh, I really enjoyed reading them. I flew through them. And then I was like, wow, I really like that series. Let's read it again. And I couldn't get through it a second time. Do you have funny stories involving books from your childhood? Um, my copy of If You Give a Mouse a Cookie has scribbles all over one of the pages when the mouse is supposed to be coloring because I thought I was supposed to color. What is the thinnest book on your shelf? I think it's an essay by E.B. White called Here is New York, and it was made into a book that I found in a bookshop called Book Culture. It's up near Columbia. That's a cool bookstore and cool book. What is the thickest book on my shelf? Either my Barnes Noble Classics copy of Jane Austen novels, which is one of my favorite things, <laughs> and, or my copy of Infinite Jest by David Foster Wallace, which I just bought, which I'm pretty excited to start reading. 
Do you write as well as read? Do you see yourself as being an author in the future? I do write as well as read. I hope I'm some kind of author. Writing's definitely going to be a part of my life. I don't know what kind of writer I'm going to be yet, but definitely some kind. When did I get into reading? Uh, when I was little, um, my parents would always read to me. Apparently my camera stops recording after 10 minutes, so that's a thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this ultimate book tag, and we'll do some more in the future. Go check out the links in the description for more from Books to Mark. Alright, hope you all have a lovely day, and read on! This is an attempt to film video. Uh, this is a video, which you probably guessed, so we're gonna start over. Cut. Success.